High speed Wi Fi accessibility is something that a lot of people struggle with, myself included, living in a rural area. That being said, this video is going to be all about Wi Fi, high speed Wi Fi accessibility in rural areas and around the world. And so, let's get into it. All right, so, no best here. And as I said, today we're going to talk about high speed Wi Fi accessibility, especially in rural areas, but overall in all the world. Now, Wi Fi is so fast right now. There's speeds like 10 gigabit, gigabit ethernet, all of this stuff. It is absolutely insane. But the thing is, is that people living in rural areas, such as myself living in the countryside or whatever you want to call it, the accessibility to those speeds is nowhere to be found. Right now, where I live, the highest speed I can get is five megabits a second down and 0 0.25 megabits up. That is so slow compared to other people I know getting gigabit up and gigabit down. That's just insane. But I really want to bring attention to what a lot of people struggle with, and that is Wi-Fi connectivity, especially considering the pandemic going on right now. People are doing all of their normal stuff online, and so having that high-speed Wi-Fi is really needed, especially nowadays. Now, although high-speed Wi-Fi in rural areas is hard to come by, there is the option of satellite. Now, the thing about satellite is the latency that comes from send sending the Wi-Fi signal to the dish back down. It just takes so much, and the latency is very, very high. And so that is what companies are trying to do, is bring the latency down while bringing the speeds up. And that is exactly what Starlink is doing from Elon Musk's SpaceX. And so considering my um, shortage of being able to get high speed Wi-Fi, that is why we have decided to pre-order Starlink. Um, now that does not guarantee that we will get it, but it does guarantee that we put down a deposit and we're in line to get it. And so I just wanna talk about all of the pros and cons that, um, and so I just wanna talk about the effects that high speed Wi-Fi accessibility or lack thereof um, has on people, especially people like myself living in rural areas, but also around the world. To show you just a glimpse of what my Wi-Fi is really like, here's a look as I'm doing a speed test right here. We're getting less than five megabytes a second and the upload speed isn't even registering. That is absolutely horrible. And as you can see right here, it just cut out and it doesn't even want to do the speed test anymore because of how bad our Wi-Fi actually is. It can't even keep a secure enough or a high enough connection to even run a speed test. So that just gives you a glimpse of what people like me living in rural areas experience in terms of Wi-Fi speeds. And that's why I want to bring attention to these things in this video. So I think that it's very important that we bring attention to this issue of people not having accessibility to high-speed Wi-Fi. Especially, again, considering the pandemic and COVID-19, it is really hard um, for people who do not have accessible high-speed Wi-Fi, such as myself, to attend classes, to do everything online. And so I really think that we need to come up with a solution for this. Wi-Fi, especially nowadays, is an essential thing, um, especially for me because Although I do have to do school and stuff, um, I also do run a YouTube channel, obviously, as you're watching this on my channel. Um, and it takes me so long to upload videos that I can't get videos out as much often as I would like to. Um, I try to get videos out every couple days, every three days around there, but I can't really because um, every time I try to, I have to it takes around a day or a two days to upload a video. That's crazy. Um, the recent Rocket League video that I uploaded when I platinum the Rocket League on my PS4, it took me around two and a half days to upload. And that is just insane. I don't think anybody should have to wait that long to upload a clip or a video. All right. And so there are a lot, a lot, a lot of um, Wi-Fi providers. Um, and they're they're great. They're great. But the thing is, is that because the infrastructure of places that live in sort of the countryside is older, there aren't the lines or the fiber optics that run underneath in order to have the high-speed Wi-Fi. And so I think that what needs to happen is something need, needs to happen in terms of reconstructing that. Um, I know it's not going to be difficult to bring uh, lines to uh, rural areas. Um, 
I know that the government already has, the Ontario government already has plans to, um, within the next five years, get high-speed Wi-Fi to all rural areas. Um, and so that's five years away, and the pandemic will probably not be as hot as it is right now then. And so now is when we really need the high-speed Wi-Fi for all people living in rural areas and all people who do not have access to high-speed Wi-Fi or any Wi-Fi at all for that matter. Because getting less than five megabytes a second isn't isn't good enough it's not and so something needs to be done about this and i really think it's up to the government or up to the wi-fi providers to provide wi-fi high speed wi-fi to everyone in rural areas as well and i really do think that that needs to happen considering i would consider that high speed wi-fi right now during these times obviously is an essential service as everything's online so yeah those are my thoughts on high-speed Wi-Fi accessibility, especially in rural areas. Let me know down in the comments below what your Wi-Fi speed is. I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please do go out and have a great day. And we shall see you in the next one.